Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. No, 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 no. It is a great day to film. Inside the box is Aperture VMic D2. Let's get into the box. Just a moment, audience. I need to pick up everything what fell. And here we go. Brace yourself, audience, for there'll be knifing and dicing and cardboard parts flying. If you have children nearby, warn them that there will be no violence in this video. Let's get into the box. This video is not sponsored. Branding, VMic, Aperture, flip to the other side, nothing there. Flip to the other side, another branding, flip the other side. What it does, you can see there. Opening the box. Information, information, information about aperture. Instruction manual, we don't need that. Uh, some stickers. This is a windshield, put that side. And here's the meat of the box. I didn't open it the right way. There we go aside so here is the mic and then we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with broided something is missing in this box there's no batteries I went to IKEA purchased some rechargeable batteries plus this USB and you can charge you can charge two batteries in here also i picked up an ikea is this 10,000 milliamp battery if you have noticed in the video that there's a wire going through here around my desk lamp well i'm recording with a aperture lavalier mic inside the box a carrying case The Aperture VMic D2 has a rubber plastic feel to it. The, the parts are cheap. Overall, the build quality is good. Coming times, the letters will disappear. The instruction manual does say where everything is located. Instruction manual, we don't need that. Get a closer sound of the Aperture VMic D2. Recording on the Aperture VMic D2. Here are the key features of this mic. Built-in preamp. Sensitivity wheel 0 to 10, pre-cal, stop, three LED indicators, blue, negative 12 decibels, red, clipping, off, on LED indicator, takes two AAA batteries. Here are all the specs. Here are some tests of the sound quality of the Aperture VMic D2. Recording on the built-in microphone of the Canon 80D. Sound check 1, 2, 3. This is on Atto. Recording on the built-in microphone of the Canon 80D. Sound check 1, 2, 3. This is recording on manual. Recording on the Aperture VMic D2. Sound check 1, 2, 3. This is on manual. Recording on the Aperture VMic D2. Sound check 1, 2, 3. This is on auto. Recording on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge factory camera app. Sound check 1, 2, 3. Recording on the HiQ app at 320k BPS of 0, 0.0 decibels sound check one two three
recording on the Aperture V-Mic D2 with a windshield. Sound check one, two, three. This is a couple inches from the Canon 80D. This is a couple feet from the Canon 80D. Sound check one, two, three. Boo! Russian just has invaded your whole screen. Ha ha ha. It's very windy in Sacramento, so it's perfect weather to put on a windshield. Hi there. Need to trim this furry animal. It gets into my lens and I have this uh, shirt on my lens. So I got to trim it. But if you do this, be careful to not poke your uh, glass, uh, you'll leave a very big scratch. So be very careful. Job is well done. This might be too far. Sound check one, two, three. Recording on the aperture VMIC D2 without a wind shield. This is a couple of feet from the Canon 80D. Sound check one, two, three. Recording back on the Aperture VMIC D2. You can play back the sound check and compare which one sounds better and you be the judge audience. Comment below which one sounds better, which one sounds worse. The pros and cons of this mic is pros, great price, it is on the sweet price picking up a mic and start recording. Lightweight, takes only two AAA batteries. Please, 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 Aperture, update this mic to an Aperture Mic D3 or however you're going to call it. This mic was first available on Amazon in 2015. It's already 2018. It has been three years since there was no update of this mic. A lot of people say that, oh, you don't need a shotgun mic. You can just record on the Canon 80D built-in microphone. Or you can use a lavalier. Ah, all right. You can use a lavalier mic. The problem with lavalier mics is that you are subjected to that object that is connected with a, with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And you can't move around or do anything. And you feel like you are just tucked in. That is one issue with lavalier mics. What I'm talking about is that um, if this was connected to my smartphone in my pocket, I will still feel that something's connected to something. Or if this was connected to my DSLR, it is still connected to something and you can't move around. With a shotgun mic, it has a built-in preamp and plus right now I'm a couple inches away from the microphone, you still can hear me, which is great. And I can, I can just move around. I can stand up, I can sit down. I, I feel much more free than using a lavalier mic. So yes, a shotgun mic is perfect in some occasions. If you're just run and gun and filming, vlogging, stuff like that, yes, a shotgun mic is perfect. But if you're very far away, of course you would need a lavalier mic, which I'm connected to my smartphone and a Hi-Q app, or if you use a wireless microphone, those on its own time, event, and place that is needed. A shotgun mic is uh, has its own purpose of a time, place, and event. Each mic has its own purpose on on what to do and when, when it's the best use to use it. For an example, shotgun, the list would be vlogging, just very close up right now how I'm talking to the camera. A lavalier mic would be if you're far away from the camera. Weddings, ceremony, events, interviews, you would use wireless microphones. And then uh, built-in DSLR, it, it is just no purpose at all. It sounds terrible. That was the pros. The cons are it is plastic. Also, where the, the cap is to cover the batteries, uh, you can lose it. The printing uh, where it says pre-cal stop on off is poorly printed on there. That was the cons. So what we have reviewed today is the IKEA 10,000 milliamp battery which has a on off button 
It has four LED indicators when battery is low or full, one USB, one micro USB to charge the, the battery, 900 milliamp rechargeable AAA battery, IKEA, USB charger for the AAA battery that has one LED indicator showing if it's charging or not. All these items will be linked down below. What I also did is I purchased a 15 feet extension for the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack because the one that comes with aperture is very short and I wanted to use this as a boom mic so that I can place my DSLR over here and have that recording from the from a top view and also this cable is really awesome so you can change this cable with an extension it does work as you can hear testing audio one two three if you thought this video was helpful share it if you like this video hit that like button click it smash it push it punch it but don't punch your screen that notification bell to get notified when there's a new video and also subscribe be brave continue filming until next time